Uh, I'm going to ask you about the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Uh, so the U.S. Chamber of Commerce embraced President Biden in 2020, and now the president of the U.S. Chamber says that the businesses it represents are fed up with the government making it harder to do business and adding new rules and regulations. Do you have any response? Yes, I do. Um, first thing, the president's uh, first two years in office have been the, the best for job creation in history. When second, uh, look, I don't think that it's all uh, all of the chamber's presidents have said that. So that there's government uh, uh, regulatory overreach, adding, and I'll quote her, when regulations are driven by ideological agenda imposed on businesses without transparency, accountability, or clarity, government isn't working. So will there be changes in this government so working? So look, I'll say this. Our administration is leveraging every available tool to advance the president's ambitious agenda for the country. And we are seeing, while there's still more work to do, we are seeing the economic, the president's economic policy is actually working. And gas prices are down by more than a dollar seven cents from their peak, thanks in part to the president's actions to increase oil supply, which were also historic actions that this president took. This is further proof the president's economic plan is working. Even though inflation is high in most major economies, it's coming down in America and giving families more breathing room. You hear the president say that all the time, how he wants to make sure that he's giving American families a little bit more of a breathing room. This uh, we can discuss the situation in Florida with, I think, about uh, 350 Cuban migrants landing at uh, Dry Tortuga and Key West. Um, I believe you, you, you said uh, it was a political ploy on the part of uh, Governor DeSantis to deploy the National Guard. His office has said that the Coast Guard requested help uh, patrolling the waters off Florida. So can you just kind of discuss your understanding of the situation yep. uh, in Florida and how that, how that understanding has developed? Yep. In the last several and days. I'm going to be, and I'm happy to repeat what I said, which is Governor DeSantis has made a mockery of uh, of the system, and uh, and he has cons consistently and constantly, as many of you have reported, uh, has done political stunts, has not helped to uh, address the issue. Re-election campaign is under investigation after being accused of trying to recruit Chicago public school students to help you get reelected. What's your response to this story that, out of NBC News? Well, I, I, I've said it many times and I'll repeat it here. Look, in our, in, in our zeal to make sure that young people had an opportunity to participate in air flocking to our campaign, uh, uh, one of our staffers uh, reached out um, through publicly available information to CPS teachers and our city colleges, and that was just simply a mistake. I'm the mayor of the city. I'm not an, uh, somebody aspiring to be the mayor. And the wall between the campaign and the official side has to be impenetrable. And it will be, and that was a mistake. Speaking about the uh, the present economic plan, look, we believe that we continue to be in this a transition of stable and steady growth. And I think that's what we believe, that's what the numbers uh, continue to show as you talk about the jobs report that we saw recently and as you talk as we talk about the CPI data. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, just, I'm just saying that we are in this transition of a stable, <laughs> transition to stable and steady growth. And we believe that the economic, the president's economic policies that he's put forward in the past two years, we see that working.